Hi students, welcome to the video module on time dependent Schrodinger equation. As we all know, uh, we discussed uh, many aspects of uh, matter and radiation or the dual nature of matter and dual nature of radiation. Many uh, scientists such as Einstein, Max Planck, etc., their work proved that radiation possesses dual nature. We learned uh, some phenomena that describes wave nature or radiation behaves as particles, like photoelectric effect, quantum effect, uh, uh, photo, uh, Compton effect, etc. So Einstein, Max Planck, etc. They explained that radiation possess energy, or they transfer as group of energy called quanta. At the same time, scientists like De Broglie, etc. explain that there is a wave associated with particles. That also we learned, the De Broglie concept of matter waves. And we know that it is not easy to detect a wave associated with larger massive particles because the wavelength will be very 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 small but we detected the wave nature or wave associated with particles such as electrons and that with the help of davis and germer experiment and all so after this type of concepts like wave nature of particle, scientists thought about describing this thing in a mathematical way. Erwin Schrodinger is a mathematician who tried to formulate a mathematical formula to describe the wave nature of particles. He described a term called wave function psi that tells us the probability of finding a particle. Now, let us see the derivation of Schrodinger's equations. Schrodinger equation is analogous to what we learned in classical mechanics, we learned about Newton's equations f equal to m a and such equations in the same way in quantum mechanics in order to describe a system we use schrodinger equation now here you consider a free particle of mass m moving with the velocity vx along the x-axis and we know that the particle possess de Broglie matter wave of wavelength lambda equal to h divided by momentum h by p so also we can write it as h divided by mv where px is the momentum along the x direction now the wave function representing this de Broglie wave so this is a wave the particle describes a wave nature also and this wave can be described with the help of a wave function psi let's say because you know the wave is normally a sine wave or a cosine wave so that we can write as either as a uh, trigonometric function like sines or you can write it as an exponential function so here we use an exponential functions so psi, the wave function psi is, deter is uh, uh, described as a times a is the amplitude e to the power negative i omega t minus x by v. Here a is the amplitude of the wave. Omega is the angular frequency. T is the instant, the time. 
x is the position along x-axis and v is the velocity along x-axis. Okay, so uh, we describe the wave function in this way. Now, as the particle possesses a wave nature, we can write the energy E equal to h nu. Okay, you can write this as h cut times 2 pi nu. You know, this is nothing. We know that E equal to h nu. You divide this with 2 pi and multiply with 2 pi so that there is no change to the tail. So h divided by 2 pi is normally termed as h cut. That is, this, there, this is h and this is h with a cut only. Even though it is not visible clearly, this is h and this is h with a cut. Okay, so there is difference. So what did we did? We know the expression E equal to h nu, then divided with the 2 pi and multiplied with the 2 pi. So h divided by 2 pi is termed as h cut. The multiplied 2 pi is shown here. Okay. So this is now 2 pi h cut times nu. And 2 pi times nu, what is 2 pi times nu? Nu is the frequency. That is 2 pi nu is omega. So energy E can be written as h cut times omega. Where omega is the angular frequency, which is equal to 2 pi times nu. Now also, so uh, we know omega is, yeah, omega is 2 pi times nu, where that is equal to 2 pi times velocity by lambda, because uh, velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. So frequency is equal to velocity divided by wavelength. Now we substitute these two terms for energy and uh, uh, omega in this expression for uh, wave function psi that is 34 here. So psi is equal to a e to the power i. Here there's an omega outside the bracket. Take the omega into the bracket. So, and then from this equation, what is omega? Omega is equal to e divided by h cut. That is why here omega t is replaced by e divided by h cut times t. Then minus, minus is here. x by vx is there. Then here, there was an omega outside the bracket. So omega has to be multiplied to the second time also. So here also an omega comes. So omega is replaced by what? 2 pi velocity by lambda. 2 pi velocity by lambda. Now this velocity terms uh, will cancel from top and bottom. There is a velocity on the bottom. There is a velocity on the top. So cancel. In the same way, we are going to take this h cut outside. So a e to the power minus i by h cut. So here h cut is uh, taken outside, so it is et. There is no h cut here. In the second time, there is no h cut. So uh, we have to multiply and divide with h cut. Then only we can take the h cut outside. So multiplied with h cut here. That h cut is h divided by 2 pi. Okay, so here I multiplied with h cut, divided with h cut, and then h cut is taken outside here. So here uh, on the numerator, there's an h cut that is h divided by 2 pi. Now again, velocity cancel here. There is a 2 pi, there is an x, the 2 pi and x is here. Then there is 1 by lambda. What is 1 by lambda? 1 by uh, lambda is equal to, you can replace 1 by lambda uh, with the expression. You see, lambda is h divided by px. So 1 by lambda is px. Or uh, lambda, you can hear the lambda. Lambda can be replaced with the h divided by px. So divided by px can be taken to the top. Then it will become px on the numerator. Then h and h cancel. 2 pi and 2 pi get cancelled. So what is remaining is a e to the power minus i by h cut e t minus p times x. Okay. Now using the relation p equal to h cut k. What is p? h by lambda. p is actually h by lambda. De Broglie concept, h by lambda. Okay. So from there we can uh, 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 derive what h by lambda. So what I'm going to do is multiply divide with the 2 pi. So h by 2 pi and 2 pi by lambda. So h by 2 pi is h cut. 2 pi by lambda is k, wave number. Okay, so what from where we got this expression? P, the de Broglie, the de Broglie concept of matter wave, P, the momentum P is equal to h divided by lambda. 
then divide with the 2 pi, multiply with 2 pi. So h by 2 pi is h cut. Then 2 pi by lambda is k. So that is why p is equal to h k. And energy is h nu or h cut omega. Both are same. Substitute in this, uh, we get the expression for psi. Psi is equal to a e to the power. Okay. A e to the power. We substitute for e. It become minus omega t minus k. Now we are going to differentiate the previous equation twice. Okay, you differentiate the equation 37. What is 37 equation? A e to the power minus i h cut by e t minus p. When you differentiate that once, then again differentiate the result, you will get this expression. Dou square psi by dou x square minus p square by h cut square psi. So on rearranging this, um, p square psi is equal to minus h cut square dou square psi by dou x square. Just rearranging that. Also, we can uh, differentiate the above equation, uh, equation number 37, that is psi is equal to a e raised to minus i by h cut, e t minus p x with a time. Here we differentiate it with x. Now, uh, next we have to differentiate with the time. So dou psi by dou t is equal to minus i e psi by h cut. Then now you cross multiply, you get e psi is equal to h cut divided by minus i dou psi by dou t. Multiply and divide with the minus i. I mean, multiply and divide with i. i is actually what? Negative one. So when you uh, multiply i with i, you will get uh, root of minus one times root of minus one. i is root of minus one. So minus one will be there at the denominator. And there is one minus already there. So that become positive. And that is why this equation became positive. Okay. So this is just rearranging. When you rearrange i come to the denominator, now you have to rationalize that by multiplying i on top and bottom. Hence, we got this expression. Okay, so we got a e psi is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t. Now, for a um, particle, non relativistic free particle, non relativistic particle means the particle uh, with a less, lower speed. We uh, can write the expression for energy E equal to uh, p square by 2m. How we got the energy E is equal to half mv square multiply divided with m, you will get m square v square by m. So m square v square is mv square, that is momentum square. That is why we got this equation. Okay, E is equal to p square by 2m. Now multiply this equation with the psi on both sides. You'll get E psi is equal to P square psi by 2 m. So now you can try with this equation number 39, this one, then this 40 equation, and then this 42 equation, these, these three equations. So on using these three equations, what you can write is you see P square psi is this one. So here, from here also p square psi is 2m times e psi. Okay, so you can substitute that, what you will get there, p square by 2m. So here e psi is this, I mean p square psi is equal to this much. And from here we can write e psi is p square by 2a, right? So p square is equal to what? From these two equations, p square psi is equal to 2m times i h cut dou psi by dou t. So here you can substitute 2m times i h cut dou psi by dou t. Take the 2m to the other side, you will get this equation i h cut i, I dou by dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h square by 2m dou square psi by dou x square. So we used this equation, this equation, and this equation. Equations 39, 40, and 42. So we got this equation. This represents the one-dimensional Schrodinger equation for a free particle. The function of position and time. You can generalize this. This is along x-axis only we discussed. You can generalize this for the three axis. Uh, this is the general term. I h cut dou xi by dou t is equal to minus h, h cut square by 2m. 
in dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square. Instead of that, you, they wrote del square psi. So that represents the three dimensional uh, Schrodinger equation in um, a time dependent uh, Schrodinger equation. Now, this equation 30 uh, or equation 40. See the equation 40. E psi is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t. This equation uh, is a special one. This actually shows the operator equation for energy. E psi is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t. So corresponding to energy, what is the operator here? i h cut dou by dou t. See the equation. E psi is equal to i h cut dou by dou t times psi. I mean dou psi by dou t. So corresponding operator for energy is i h cut dou psi by dou t. See, the x operator for energy is i h cut dou by dou t. Similarly, the operator for momentum is negative i h cut dou by dou x. Okay, negative i h cut dou by dou x. This is x x only. If you consider three dimensional, we can write as negative i h cut dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z. Or you can write as i h cut dou i h cut delta. Let us consider a particle moving in a potential V. It possesses kinetic energy and potential energy. That is given by E is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Kinetic energy is half mv square. Multiply and divide with m, you will get m square v square by 2m. m square v square is p square. mv is momentum, that is why p square. Plus the potential energy that exists there. This, uh, you can write the Schrodinger equation this day, this, uh, because what is Schrodinger equation? That is equal to E psi. Uh, uh, e is replaced by its operator. What is operator for E? i h cut dou by dou t. So, e psi is replaced by i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to momentum operator. The minus h cut square by 2m del square plus v of psi. This quantity in bracket, we term it as Hamiltonian h. So, using Hamiltonian operator, you can write the Schrodinger equation as my i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to h psi. This is what i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to h psi. So, that is the Schrodinger equation in terms of Hamilton. Okay, students. Thank you.